So who's the best trader on Capitol Hill? It's no other than Nancy Pelosi. She's even better than, than some of the hedge fund managers on Wall Street. Why do I say that? Well, history has shown that she is a great trader. Case in point, let's take the example of a trade that she took in December on NVIDIA. Before we look at the charts, let's look at this example. So U.S. Rep. Nancy Pelosi from California has achieved significant financial gains from her recent investment in NVIDIA, prominent AI company and semiconductors. So on November 22nd, let's remember this date, she acquired 50 call options from the video with a strike price of $120 expiring next year, or this year, pretty much 12 months from now. The transaction valued range between one and $5 million. Okay, so we're gonna remember November 22nd as that is key 50 call options at $120. As of early 2024, Pelosi has reportedly made approximately half a million <laughs> From this investment, surpassing her annual government salary of approximately 224000 This gain is attributed to NVIDIA's stock performance, which has seen an increase of over 20% in value since Pelosi's acquisition. Crazy, crazy stuff. Pelosi has made substantial profits from trading call options at various blue chip companies. However, her stock trades often face scrutiny, with some accusing her of using insider information to make lucrative trades. While some criticize, criticize her potential insider trading, others commend her strategic investment choices, the rise in NVIDIA's stock value, partly because the high demand for its chips in AI computing have contributed significantly to Pelosi's recent financial success from this investment. So who is NVIDIA? They're a graphics processing unit company, although they don't make the chips in-house, they outsource it to a la Taiwan Semiconductor. They were founded in 1993, and uh, through some luck, but execution from a strategic standpoint, um, they're making out like bandits. Take for example, last year, the company's financial performance was outstanding, third quarter revenue of 18 billion, and a net income of 9 billion, largely because of the strategic focus on AI and accelerated computing, with key products like the H100 GPU and Grace Hopper H200 AI super chip. So again, kind of going back to the trade setup in which Nancy got into the video again, November 22nd. So we're going to look at that. But before we do, let's look at the big picture. This is a monthly chart straight up. This is the weekly chart straight up. Although the better half of last year, uh, we did get some consolidation. Um, so when you consolidate, you want to play the extremes. However, as you can see, momentum was still up. So price was just taking a breather before the next leg higher. All right. So if we go down to the daily chart, we're going to look at November 22nd. And that would have been right here. So. She looks like she was playing the breakout, which is not a bad strategy. However, again, price was in a sideways price action, played extremes. Um, breakout, maybe she would have was thinking price was going to close above the, the previous all time highs. Um, nevertheless, price did pull back into this daily buyers level. Retested all time highs, so you had a triple top. Again, look at your moving. Averages all kind of still pointing up. This last pullback touching the 50 day moving average and it was off to the races. Now, I've been following the video for quite some time and have done many, many videos on the video. And the last time I did a video on the video, we were kind of at this level. And now, to my surprise, we are. <laughs> above $600. Crazy, crazy stuff. Now you can see price is extended from the 13 and the 26 day moving, simple moving average. So, you know, a pullback is inevitable. I was hoping to get a retest of the previous all time highs, but it just tells you momentum 
is crazy and people wanted to buy the stock including Nancy Pelosi so again more of the story best trade on Capitol Hill Nancy Pelosi by a long shot boy it's good to be Nancy thanks for watching subscribe please like the video